Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio today here on, B, on with a Gina B. Aaron's Design Team video. The prompt for this month is inchies. We're going to have an inchy swap amongst all of the design team members. So I really wanted to do something a little bit different. A couple people were talking in the design team members one day and we were talking about what, how we were going to store them once we got them. They're so tiny, they're hard to keep track of. So I had an idea and I asked Gina if it was okay if I do this and she said yes. So let me tell you what I did. Um, I got a prospectus from a Trans America, one of those books they send you about their the financial health of their company that's like three quarters of an inch to an inch thick which I never read because I don't understand any of it. So what I did was I cut or tore all the pages out of it and it's thin like tissue paper. So I spent the day yesterday doing color blocks on the jelly plate. Oops, sorry, that's the dog. Uh, doing a uh, printing on jelly plates. And then I'm going to stamp these with this stamp from one of Gina's collections, which I will put down in the um, description box. It is of miscellaneous print. So when I do what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna print this all on here. I want all the writing on there. The girls don't know I'm doing this. I didn't tell them. They'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them a mini book, pocket book, to hold their inchies in. I need to do eight pa eight pockets, so each one of these little um, signatures has one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in it. There's one, two, three, four, and then if you open up the ends, that's five, and this is six. So I have plenty for the design team members, and if they want to add any more or any of their extras in there, they can store them in the pockets. So I. I'm not sure what I'm going to make the outside of the book of, but I know I'm going to cover the outside of the book with this uh, paper on this tissue, and then I'm going to use Gina's stamps. And I'm going to use part of the Atomic Collection in this also, and I will show you that. I'll be right back, and I'll tell you the rest of the story. Okay, so I took the kind of tissuey financial paper stuff, and stamped, where's my stamp? Oh. Stamped this word, this uh, messy word stamp that uh, Gina has. And I stamped it, some of it overlapping. Some of it I did twice on uh, all these uh, jelly printed papers. And then I'm going to figure out what size I need to make my little book. So I'm making everyone in the group a little book. This is an inchy. It's one inch by one inch square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I think maybe a smaller version of this and that way when they get their inchies from each other in the mail they can just slip it in there to store it and that will be their collection from the design team. And I'm going to wrap the outside, cover the outside with this tissue paper. Then the inside pockets will be from this stuff right here. This one. This one. And I think maybe this one. I need a fourth one. So I'll see what I can come up with. So um, Gina gave me the digital files and she has these digital files of the atom some of the Atomic Age inspired little paint type blocks. These were just plain blue, and so I doodled the lines and outlined them. I doodled in these. These are also from the one of the Atomic Collections. And then I made these little yellow ones look like flowers. So those will be the inside pockets like this for the little miniature inchy saver. Okay, so let me go look for some kind of material to make the folders out of, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I took the kind of tissuey financial paper stuff 
and stamped, where's my stamp? Oh. Stamped this word, this uh, messy word stamp that uh, Gina has. And I stamped it, some of it overlapping. Some of it I did twice on uh, all these uh, jelly printed papers. And then I'm going to figure out what size I need to make my little book. So I'm making everyone in the group a little book. This is an inchy. It's one inch by one inch square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I think, maybe a smaller version of this. And that way, when they get their inchies from each other in the mail, they can just slip it in there to store it. And that will be their collection from the design team. And I'm going to wrap the outside, cover the outside with this tissue paper. Then the inside pockets will be from this stuff right here. This one. This one, and I think maybe this one. I need a fourth one, so I'll see what I can come up with. So um, Gina gave me the digital files, and she has these digital files of the atom some of the Atomic Age inspired little paint type blocks. These were just plain blue, and so I doodled the lines and outlined them. I doodled in these. These are also from the atom one of the Atomic Collections. And then I made these little yellow ones look like flowers. So those will be the inside pockets like this for the little miniature inchy saver. Okay, so let me go look for some kind of material to make the folders out of, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished seven out of the eight books that I needed to do for the video. And now I'm going to show you the completed book, and then I'm going to show you what I did to complete it. So I'll show you mine. All right, so I think in the last segment before last, or last segment, I showed you this book right here with the little pockets, and there's two signatures in here, and you, can, oh, you can't see it, but I promise there's two signatures sewn in here. And I end up making this for our inchy swap, like... Um, nearly half as small as the one I use for my example. But that's okay because they're only inchies. So let me find an inchy. I was going to slide one in here. Oh, here it is. To show you that they do fit. So here is the inside of the book. Now the outside, I took, um, I took leftover packaging that I have in a drawer that I, I keep at all times, you know, for tags and that kind of stuff. And I took the paper that I show you that I had painted, done the jelly print, and stamped on. Then I took a stamp from one of the modern atomic collections, stamped it on watercolor, let it dry, put my name on it, then I cut it out and glued it onto the front of the book. I covered the little book in the paper, and I, I always cover on the inside and the outside because I don't want to see the ugliness of the inside. Then I wrote on here, Gina B. Aaron's Inchy Swap and the month and the year. And here are the little pockets. And here's my little brown cardstock inchy. And it just slides right in. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Let me get this out of the way. So the this is the paper from um, Gina's Digi Collection. When I got it, it was um, I think it was just the blue the blue diamond, and then it had dots in it, and I drew the the black lines that way. So I cut the paper to my um, dimensions that I needed, and it's a five and a half inches by two and a half inches. So I'm going to show you how to make the pocket. So let me go in. All right, so there's this. So what you do is you just, now you fold, your, you put your pattern down and the white or the non-color up here. Now, sometimes I will use um, double-sided paper. Doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm going to fold this in half so it's nice and even at the bottom. I could use a bone folder, but 
Now see I say even and now it's crooked. <laughs> okay, let's straighten that bad boy out. All right, so now we're gonna get the bone folder because we're an income poop. All right, so now we have the bone folder. All right, so the open side, you just open it back up and then you go this way. All right, so now you have basically across this way and this way. Now you're gonna take this side of the paper and fold it into where the crease is for the middle. So almost go to the middle. Don't do it exactly in the middle or you won't be able to close it. You won't be able to close it. So go to almost the middle where the crease is for the middle. Turn it around. Do this one the same way almost to the center. So now what you can do is open it and you have it like this and then you know it'll close because this is all lengthwise. What we're going to do is we're going to take this corner and this corner and we're going to fold them down to where they kind of meet in that middle crease that we made this way. You want to make sure it's nice and neat. Don't go all the way to the center, but make sure you do a nice crisp edge on it. See it? See, there's the fold. I didn't go quite into the fold. And then the paper doesn't even reach down to this fold here. All right, so then we're going to do this one. And I try to make sure these two match each other. Right up here, where you can see me. There you go. Put that there. Bone folder. And then. Let me back you out. There we go. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to take it to where it almost gets to the creased edge here. Kind of finger press it or a bone folder, whichever you prefer. When I had fingernails, I would use my fingernails, but all my fingernails split after I took some medication. So I'm having, I chopped them all off and now I'm having to grow them out again. All right, so now this is what your end result looks like, right? This. Okay, so then you take these corners and fold them down. Remember you have that crease that was there from before. Fold everything into the middle. That's what it's going to look like. All right. Then you take it, flip it over to where you see the lovely pattern on the back. Then you bend it over where the crease was. Then you're going to take a little bead of glue and you're going to glue just a tiny little bead at the top and I'll show you why in a second if I can get the silly glue to come out. Dadgum it, I turned it so that wouldn't happen. Okay, here we go. Here. All right, so we got the little, you know, you can just do a little bead of glue up here, glue up there. You don't want everything to go crazy because you want to make sure this stays glued shut, the top, because it's going to give you two extra pockets. Now, sometimes if I don't care about having the extra pockets, I will glue the whole back side to the front side and not care. So this is what you're going to end up with. You have, you have a pocket here. You have a pocket on this side. Flip it over and it looks exactly the same on the front as it does in the back. Pocket here, pocket there, and then the final fold, you go like this. And then if you didn't get too crazy with the glue, you should be able, whoop, I got crazy with the glue. Yeah. Well, technically, you should be able to stick this one inchy, or this inchy, right into this pocket, but I think I brought the glue down a little too far. There we go, I can squeeze it on there. Anyway, it gives you two extra pockets for the end pieces on every one of these signatures that you make. So, um, for the little book, I took the purple paper that I had and made a little signature out of it, and then the yellow paper. See those? And there's the name tag that goes on the front. I didn't want to separate it from the front of the book. So I'm going to take these two. I'm going to put one inside the other and see which one sticks out the most. Kind of finger press them a little bit. I'm going to open them back up. 
I have a thread and needle and I am going to eyeball this. I'm not measuring it. I'm not using a template to make sure it's perfect because, you know, this is a little teeny project. I'm going to poke it basically in the middle with the needle and thread and then go up to the top. This is for the three hole pamphlet stitch. And then I'm going to guesstimate and kind of do it at the bottom and try not to stab myself in the fingers. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, then I'm going to take the little um, leftover packaging that I covered with the paper, plunk this in the middle, then I'm going to stick my needle through the cardboard, and it's so tight that you may have to mash down on a hard surface with the uh, need with the eye. Pull it all the way, all almost all the way through. I had a clip here somewhere. What happened to it? Well, boogers it walked off. Okay, so here's one. Take this, and I take the string and leave myself a nice little tail. Push it off to the side. And then I take a clip and clip it so it doesn't run away. Because I don't want this um, I don't want this middle string to run off because I'm gonna have to use it to tie the knot in the end. So I take this, I find where my hole is. Where is my hole? De -de -de Hmm. Thought I poked a hole in there already. Alright, so there's the other hole. So then I go back through here. I pre-poke because otherwise it's tough and you, sometimes the hole from the signatures don't match what you put here. So I try to hedge my bet and poke early or I'll pre-poke this and then it'll come through on the other side when I match it up. Then kind of push it down. Urgh. There we go. There's my other hole. Pull the thread through. Nice and taunt. And then I'm going to go back through the original hole that started the whole thing. Bring the thread up. I'm going to cut my thread off. But I still have to leave a little tail so I can tie it. You can tie a square knot, any kind of knot that makes you happy. The idea is just to make sure your signature doesn't come out. Sometimes if I think this, that, that my knot is not the greatest, I would take a little bit of glue and just take a toothpick and kind of tap the, the knot with my glue to make sure that knot does not come undone. Because, you know, when you work this small and you got big clumsy fingers, big fat fingers, sometimes you're not sure if it actually works. Now see, this one's giving me a little bit of a hard time because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do just a regular knot. <laughs> there we go. And then I always try to trim off the excess so it's a little short. There we go. So there's my little book. There's my, oh, see, and look at it. It's up on the side here. I think I rolled it a little too much. And then I'm going to take my glue. And I am using um, tacky glue for this because as much as I love glue sticks, I really don't think that the glue stick is going to make this watercolor paper stick very well to this paper here. Gussy that up. Put it on the front. And a person's name will be written on the front and in the back. I wrote what it was for, Gina B. Aaron's Inchy Swap, 4 of 2019. And then there'll be a name written on there. So I'm going to show you all of them that I made. Wendy, Peg, Margell, Leslie, Shell C, Gina, Six designers and my, or six, let's see, six designers and Gina makes seven. And then I have the eighth one that I made for the demo purposes, just in case I mess up one of these others. What's that, what's that saying, an air and a spare? There's my spare. <laughs> All right, so they're not going to close very well because the spine is so small that they don't close very well. But once you put them flat on some, some put something flat on them or take a little rubber band or you can do a um, 
a belly band on them and they'll stay closed. But when you mail them, all you have to do is take them, open them up this way, put a very tiny, small, discreet rubber band on this side, rubber band on this side, and you can put them in a first class envelope because they're so small. Alrighty. So I still need to make my inchies for this. I made everybody a little gift to give them a book to put their little inchies in, and I still have to do my inchies. So that's it for me for now. I will come back and I will show you what my inchies look like for everybody as soon as I figure out what I'm going to do. Be back in a second. Okay, so I forgot to film the inchies. I went through all the steps of doing the little book to put the inchies in, and then I never did the inchies. So here's my idea on cardstock, the original one. It's the, um, the paintbrush stamp where you don't, you know, an inch by an inch, it's hard to get that thing because it's kind of long. So I just did the tips of the paint brushes. I did the blue and the red and like the paint was coming together to make purple on the table. Splattered it and did the um, inking on the outside. Showed it to somebody who's not on a design team and she said, wow, that looks like a package. I almost fell off my chair. I was like, no, I did not want it to look like a package. Back to the drawing board. All right, so then idea number two was to do it again, and I did it again on cardstock. But this time when I did it on cardstock, the blue looks lavender. I don't know if I didn't clean my, my uh, water brush out good enough or what happened, so that wasn't good enough. And then third time's charm. So I did it again. This time I did the um, inchy on watercolor paper and I think it turned out much better because the blue actually looks blue and I'm very happy with that result. After they dried, I glued them onto cart pieces of cardstock, put Gina's name on there, design team for 2019 and my name so people knew which one was mine. And they're all sealed up in an envelope, ready to go to Gina. And pretty soon, they'll, oops, they'll be going to her house, and they'll be on their way. All right, I never mentioned this in past videos, but 